Okay, hello. So, one point perspective close up. I wanted to do another show on uh, perspective, but I wanted to do something a bit different and a bit interesting. So, hopefully, you enjoy what we're doing today. Uh, perspective and foreground, midground, and background is what we're going to be talking about today. So, to make something look um, in perspective and have some depth. So almost a bit 3D, I suppose, when you're looking at photos and you're looking at drawings, and especially later on when you're at high school, they'll talk about this. So anything that looks like here, these shoes, very close to you, is what they call in the foreground. And we're going to be doing drawings today with something very much in the foreground. And then the background is the things furthest away from you. So usually if you're outside, it's the horizon, trees, buildings. So those trees there and the houses at the back are in the background. Then anything in between the foreground and the background is considered middle ground. So this guy here is what we consider middle ground. And so that helps give an idea and of a feeling that your photo or your image has depth because it sort of looks like it's going backwards. So today we're going to be doing drawings that have a foreground and a middle and a background but we're going to do it close up and to the extreme to have a bit of fun. So I just found a few drawings and then some photos to give us some inspiration. I loved this. Now, often it is hands that are up close, feet, uh, animals, faces and things up close. So this here, this hand here is in the foreground, nice and big. Looks a little bit abstract almost, but it gives a sense of 3D and depth. Then her body is mid-ground and that horizon line is in the background. Such a cool picture too. See with the shading here, that pushes it back as well. Love this picture. Love this picture too. So this is what I'm going to be doing um, something of, I think. So this student has his feet up on the desk. I used to get in, used to get in trouble for that at high school. So his underside of his shoe, which is huge because it is so close to us. So this is the foreground, he is the midground, and then the back of the room is the background. That gives amazing depth. Such a cool picture, such a cool picture. Again, this hand looks like it's nearly coming out to touch us. So the actual hand here is the foreground, the boy is the midground, and the road and things is the background. Love it. Absolutely love it. Okay, this cool drawing of a bike. The actual bike is the foreground. The cars and the building are the midground. And back there, the trees are the background. So I have really searched the internet to find any drawings and images that have something nice and up close. Because I just think it's a bit different and a bit fun way to do it. A beautiful painting of an older man. Foreground. He is the midground, and then the wall is the background. I just think it's um, a really interesting format to draw and paint. The shoe. Foreground. The person, mid-ground, and then the building is the background. Then I chose this because the shoe is nice and close. Again, the shoe, foreground, the girl, mid-ground, and the playground and trees at that end. <laughs> and then I looked into some animals. How cute is that? So the donkey's nose and head is the foreground, his body is the midground, and then the empty space is the background. So for some inspiration for you, because I did a lot of looking on the internet, 
I went and found a few animal photos where they're right up close to the camera that you might like to have a, a go at drawing. So you would draw this, and I will have a go, cow's head first, and then you can draw some other cows, or you could draw some trees or things there, and then we'll do the horizon as the background. Always oh, cute. What an inquisitive little fellow. This gorgeous fox. Now, it is so out of focus. That's how close he is to the camera, this beautiful little fox with the snow on his head. Then his body and legs are the mid-ground, and then the trees are in the background. Isn't he just divine? photo I could look at this photo for a long time how what a, an amazing image to capture <laughs> oh nip this makes me laugh so cute all right so his head is <laughs> and his nose is the foreground his little gorgeous belly is the mid-ground and then the horizon and the sky is the background oh I had so much fun finding these a gorgeous, inquisitive deer. Look, you can even see the details of the texture on his nose. Amazing. Beautiful little sheep. Uh, so his head is foreground, his body's midground, and the other sheep and the ground is the background. <laughs> Nip, this is one of your guys. Oh, their nose is pretty much touching the screen. Love it. Love it. So that's a really cool way to do it. Like the nose is the foreground, his rest of his head's the mid-ground, and then the pattern on the floor. It's very effective. Oh, look at those eyes. That looks like my sister's dog, Muppet. For the cat lovers out there, Miss Mannion and Mr. Sweeney. Gorgeous little head is the foreground, body, midground, and the building background. Again, for the cat lovers. So you can watch my video again and stop on any of these animals and use these as your inspiration if you like. That's why I have them here for you. Save you going through so I'm have, going to have a go at an animal and I'm going to have a go at a shoe image even that one's cool but I think I'm going to have a go at a shoe image and an animal all right I'll keep filming when I'm drawing well hello good morning good afternoon good evening depending where you are so I'm sitting like this today because we are doing close-up perspective. So at the moment, my foot is in the foreground. I'm in the mid-ground and the wall is in the background. And that's what today's show is about. I showed you a video with some ideas, some animals that you could try and draw, some photos of animals. Or what I would love you to do is get a family member to put their feet up and try and draw some near perspective. I'm going to get Ruby to film with her feet up on the table so we can draw her. Do you know what? Normally I don't allow kids to put their feet on the table, but this is art. This is art. So it's all different from art. Now, all right, Napoleon's under the table today. We'll say hello to him in a minute. So today, all you really need is grey leads, rubber and a sharpener in case. Now, I had a go at drawing an animal close up from one of those photos. This is my little moo cow. My mum grew up on a dairy farm near Camperdown. So, and they're so gorgeous. Can I tell you how many photos of cows up close they were? I think they're very inquisitive. So, um, I just really focus the nose is the closest point, and then I try to draw some trees as the the sort of mid ground, and then the horizon and the sky as the background. I sort of used a bit of shading as well. So have a look at the shading. See where I've done it darker because that's its body that pushes it back. 
because light hits whatever light hits first so my nose and things that should be the lightest part and then we go backwards all right ruby doobie who's filming me today could you please oh this is just i don't know if it's very light rubes can you see that a quick sketch of the boy with the foot that I started. But I rather draw in real life. It's better for your art. So, roots, chill out, and put those feet up. I'm going to go this way. Oh, you have got good patterns on the bottom of your shoes. Sneakers have such good patterns. Now, what I do is my drawing is going to go her bottom foot from the bottom of the page. So, I go there to her head. Now her feet take up more than half the page. So that's sort of how I indicate how big. This is why in the movies you see artists go like this. Seems crazy, but it's actually for a reason because that is your page. So if you go like that, Ruby's head is at the top of my fingers, the top of the page, and her shoes go up further than halfway. So let's get you in now it has to be over the side so we mm, it's not that sharp to this one I have to go over to the side so i can fit Ruth's body in now i'm going to do a fairly quick sketch because what do i say we're not here um to watch me do a drawing we're here to learn and then for you to go and have some fun i'll lift it up because rubes can't come in close Oh, I did that a bit far away. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter. I did it too close to the edge, so we're not going to fit our other shoe in. All good. All right, so there's one. So remember what I always say, just mark out gently first, because it's hard to rub out if it's too hard, uh, like if you push too hard. Okay. Rube's just been doing some photography of Nip, Nicole, in, in my... Um, red cardigan and beads and things I should post it Ruth. it's so cute all right yeah. all right that is a basic outline of ruby dude's sneakers and i'll put some inner ones in now this is all new to you give it a go remember it doesn't have to be perfect when you're learning all right so so that's the feet to start with. They're taking up a lot of, but they're quite big, more than halfway when I look. All right, then. Do, do, do. Again, just lightly indicate everything else. A little bit of clothes here. Blah, 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 blah. Often if, now remember, look at me, and I've taught kids at school this, uh, my eyes are on the paper, but also you can see that I look up and look down at the paper because all the information that you need is in front of you. Now, here's the table. Let me do that quite dark. Now, perspective's hard because it sort of looks weird because it is because things are out of proportion. Thank you to all those gorgeous people at school who joined me from my cooking show. And for those of you um, who don't know, I love to bake as well. I've actually got my donut dough rising as we speak. Got the heaters turned up a bit because it's not that warm a day. All right, so. Now, I often look at, oh, see, that's not over far enough. I look at where things are in relation to other things. So Rube's hand is sort of close to her knee, her um, sleeve, so I know where it has to go. That just helps you sort of sort out where everything is. Hands are tricky. So if you're doing this at home and you're a bit intimidated by hands, you can get the person in your family who's drawing just to put their hands down the side. That's fine. You don't want any stress when they're learning. Put my phone in like so. My hand is 
folding it up. Oh, it's hot in here. All for, I'm going to cook Mr. McLaughlin. He's in his office. All for the sake of donuts. Well, so be it, I say. We're going to have a nice afternoon tea in the park with my mum. All right. His head. Can't see her now. I'm going to show her. I'll just show you a quick update. So that's what I've marked out. Where everything sort of is. And so that's what I usually do first, and is a good idea. And same when you're painting and things, mark out things before you do any detail or push hard because then it's easier to swap where things are, all right? Now, as I said on my video, you need a foreground, you need the middle ground. So Ruby's shoes are the foreground, she is the middle ground, and then I need the couch and the window in the background for my background. Again, thank you to the people who've been sending me their wonderful artwork. You guys have been sending me some cool dream artwork. Man, I love hearing about the dreams. So interesting. All right. There's a chair with ink on it. All right, I better put an indication of Rubes' face in here. Nothing wrong with that. So quiet, we've only got a few of us home today. Nick's in the background playing with his toys all morning. He's got this ball he's obsessed with and then it goes under the couch and he cries. It's driving us a little bit crazy, but anyway. Turn back roofs because you need to see in your eyes. Now, see what I'm doing? I'm looking up. And down. So, I would like you to do one of two things, or for though there are a few people who actually do a great job and do more than one piece of art and send it to me. And do you know what it is? Um, they go, How did you get to know how to draw and things? It is absolutely 100% just practice. That's all it is. Practice, practice, practice. Rubes has got brown eyes like me. So if you're going to do um, one of the animals, um, that I posted, you can just stop the video um, and pause it and then yeah, get your ideas from that. I think the phone's a bit big there. Rubber's always handy to have. If you can find them, you know, finding rubbers when you need them is so annoying. A bit like hair ties and hair brushes and scissors. There are certain things that are hard to find in the house sometimes. I think also, especially when everyone's home. Oh, that looks like your little finger. I'm not going to go into fine, fine detail because we want people to be able to leave this. And go and have a, oops, I gave themselves. Not that we're, but we aren't judging today. We are just trying our best, aren't we, Rubes? Is your hand getting hold, sore holding it? Yeah. No, it's all good. She's looking pretty relaxed, actually. Feet up, chilled out. And then Rubes has got to go do her photography for school. Nick's the star. Thought I'd give him a break, seeing he's a star or something else. Yeah. Oh, 
little bit for a con and a bite. Alright, I'm not gonna do too much because it'll take up too much time. Okay. So then I would go back and do as much detail. And that's what I did with the um, lovely cow. I sort of started just like this and then went back and did all my detail. Oh, do you know what I should do is some of this cool detail on the shoe. What shoes are there, Rube? Nike. Nike, yeah. So. So, if you ask someone in your family to do this, get them to go and find their shoes with the best pattern on the bottom, just to make it a bit interesting. All right. Oh, I just want to keep drawing that. No time. Okay. Ah, and then you could even shade. I've got the table lines coming towards us, which is a good thing for. And you could even do the shade under the shoe, always makes it sit nicely. Ah, that's just a very quick thing of Rubes. So I will do a lot more detail. So we've got the foreground, Rubes is the middle ground, and then work on the background. So either do an animal up close or someone in your family putting their feet up. Take your time. Even if it's not perfect, that's not what we're after. We're after just having a go and practicing and having fun. So I'll see you all soon. I'm back to school next week um, with the juniors. I'm looking forward to having them in the art room. Bye.